What's up you guys, this is Kefis, and it's time to begin Season 2 of Leveling in WoW. We had a lot of fun in Season 1, it ran for 53 episodes, and you guys were so faithful and so supportive of that series that I'm excited to kick off Season 2. We did a straw poll voting for which class I should play for the Alliance side, and you guys picked Druid, which was actually the perfect choice, because as you can see here, I have an army of Alliance alts ready to go on Airy Peak, and the one thing that I do not have is a Druid. So, we're going to kickstart things off by making ourselves a Druid. On the Alliance side, we can either go Night Elf, or we can go Worgen. It's no-brainer for me because I love the Worgen. So we're going to go Worgen. Since we were a female character last time, we're going to be a male this time. Because male Worgens are awesome. We're going to be a Druid. And let's let's see what options we have here to look at. Skin color. I kind of want to go Albino. I've, I've been thinking about this. I've made many Worgens. And I don't have an Albino Worgen. So let's go with the, the white... I guess he's not really albino, but he's just like light colored or white or whatever. So let's do that. Okay, face. I like the blue eyed look. Actually, let's see here. And like there's there's I there's a couple different looks here. I like this one kinda, but I really like this darker one as well. So I think we're gonna go with that one. Next up is hairstyle. Now here's what's tricky. You also need to pay attention to the hairstyle if you care of the human version of this guy. So let's pick a human hairstyle first that I kind of like, and we'll see how the Worgen one looks, and then kind of go from there. I kind of like, I kind of like this. Uh, let's see, kind of like that one. Let's see what that looks like on the Worgen. That's cool. He's got the braided look going on. I think I can dig that. Let's go with that there. Now for facial hair, um, I, I kind of like that look. You know, it, it's kind of picked out the exact look that I'm thinking I'm wanting. Got a full beard as a human, and We've got the full, like, tri trio braided, like, all kinds of braids going on. I dig it, man. He's all druid. He's a hippie. It's all it's all good. Now, hair color, I don't believe, affects the worgen at all. It actually just affects the dude in the background. So, let's see here. What kind of hair color do we want to go with? You know what? I'm feeling like we want to do the ginger look this time. So, there we go. We've got it covered. That was pretty easy, actually. Now, the hardest part that could take me forever... I have to come up with a name. So, what are we going to call this guy? Well, on Airy Peak, on my Alliance side, I have kind of a theme going on where I give characters kind of this angelic tone to their name. So, like, you know, like, angels are named, like, Gabriel, or in Diablo, Tyrael, or in Supernatural, Castiel. So we want to do something with the E-L at the end of it, or whatever. Um, let's see. It's a worgen, so he's kind of a... He's a dog, right? My girlfriend has the coolest dog in the world named Xander. So how about we go with Xandariel. Xandariel. Why not? It works. Kind of like Andariel from Diablo 2. I like it. So there we go. Xandariel, the Worgen Druid on Airy Peak Alliance side. And they exist. Now in the world, we're ready to begin. I'm excited, you guys. I'm happy to get back into this. I really love leveling in this game. I'm not going to lie. I haven't played a lot of WoW lately. Um... You know, just part of it is just being busy, as usual, but also just because, like, I don't know, how are you guys feeling with this game? I know that, like, Legion is pretty much one of the better expansions. Uh, look at that, we're already set and ready to go, too. This game looks pretty good, too. I don't know what it is right now, but it just feels like this game is really smooth right now. It's been a while since I played, so maybe it's just me, but uh, let's get going here as a worgen. Um, but yeah, like, I haven't really been... Um, too like hooked on this game lately just because i don't know it's i think i think part of it's just me being busy we know what we got to do we have to give ourselves the heirlooms but also because like i maybe i don't know if it's like i'm getting tired of the grind maybe or if i'm just like i don't know what it is it's not even like legion's such a good expansion it, there's nothing wrong with it i don't feel at all about it like i felt about um you know you know i gotta make sure i'm getting the right stuff here don't i we're, we're totally not even getting the right stuff. Why is it giving me all this? We gotta go to filters, collected, check. Let's see. No, we gotta go over here to this. See, this is kind of a pain because it's like, I don't know what it's doing. There. There we go. We want this. We want this. We want this. This. 
that uh, agility because we're going to go feral unless, unless you guys really want to see me go something else. <laughs> uh, hope not because I'm not good at anything else. To be honest, I'm really not the best druid, but I'm excited to play one. And we'll just take that trinket and that trinket. And I think I already got one of these, but just to be sure, we'll, we'll get another one. All right, there we go. So we have got Dookie questing essentials here to gear us up. Um, I'm already putting on the wrong gear, though, so I'll have to go in and fix it. Um, <laughs> sheesh. Okay, let's see. We want to give ourselves this helm, not the cloth one. Look, it's like trying to argue with me. Bro, we're not going to equip, equip the cloth helm. Dookie questing essentials is not perfect. It's all right, though. And ignore my phone. It's, it's ringing. It's all right. So we want to put that there. We've got that. We don't want, to, we don't want that. We don't need this. And we've already got one of those, so I did do double down on that. So let's make sure we got everything. We got, should have five. We got that, 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 and that set. We should have pants, which we do. So we're set there. A ring, and these two guys, and a weapon with agility. We are all set now. Look at this. We're like a ninja, bro. I like it. Although I might un unequip it because I kind of like the worgen's face. Uh, but anyhow, as I was saying, trying to stay hooked on this game has been challenging for me lately. And I think it's just, you know, part of it's because I'm trying to be interested in other games right now as well. Like, there's so many good games out there I want to play. And uh, I tend to be more of an alt uh, like, I, I tend to lean more on playing with alts, and Legion's kind of hard for that, in my opinion. So, it's been kind of hard for me to stay interested, to be honest with you guys. Um, and one of the frustrating things for me, and it's not even like, this isn't even like a, a frustration with Blizzard or the game. It, like, it's not even that I think the game's doing anything wrong, because it's not. It's just that, like, it's really hard. You know what, we don't even want this. We already have it. We're not, we're not, gonna, not even, not, no, De delete. Just go away. I don't even want you. Um, but it's not even that, like, I think Legion is wrong or, like, there's anything wrong with the game. It's it's purely about, like, just where I'm at right now. And, like, when I set out to make all those macro videos and, like, because I, I like doing that. I like making guides for the classes. It's just really hard this time. It's it's so much harder than it's been. Uh, I like how we just instantly leveled up to two after one kill, by the way. Um, go heirlooms, right? But, like, the thing the thing that's hard is, like, because of all the classes, because of all the uh, artifact weapons and everything, and because, like, they're doing a lot more drastic changes, it seems like, this time. Like, a lot of classes got some major changes. And and that's making it really, really difficult to, um, like, just, just keep up to date with all these macros and stuff like that. So I honestly got overwhelmed after a while. And, you know, with my new job and everything, it just kind of got, like, I just kind of had to... I didn't know what to do, so I I, I I just kept trying, and I just wasn't making any headway. Um, I just wasn't having enough time to do it. So I do apologize for those of you who you know who tune in, who are supporting this channel, who came here for macros and that kind of stuff, and I haven't really given you any in a while. I do apologize. I mean, keep in mind, like I haven't really had any complaints. Just keep in mind that like I am only one person. I do it for free. It, it's something that I like to do. Essentially what I do is, because I'm an alt freak and because I, I, I use macros for myself, I just share with you guys the macros that I use. Um, and that's how it usually works. I really don't have to do anything too much extra other than make the macros, upload them somewhere so that you can download them and try them out yourself. Um, but unfortunately, I just it's just been too hard. I can't even really play all the characters. I've tried. I've only leveled up a couple so far. And, like, doing it just kind of burns me out, like, really fast. Um, and so that's kind of why I kind of, like, I've, I've kind of taken a break from this game for the most part in terms of the in-game and the Legion content. And I'm, I'm fine with doing, like, a leveling series right now. But, like, for now, it's like I need to figure out an easier way to do this or else, like, I don't know how I'm ever going to stay up to date and keep macros up to date, unfortunately. Um, you know, so I do apologize, you guys. I'm sorry for those of you who who only want to see that kind of content, who only come here for that kind of content, I just tr please try to understand. Like, all I can really do now is just have fun playing games, and, and hopefully people will enjoy watching me do that and, you know, and stuff. So I, I wanted to get that kind of out of the way in the beginning because this is a WoW-related, you know, thing that I do. My channel has been so heavily focused on WoW for so long. Uh, but, you know, just as I have, you know, as time has gone on, I've gotten 
you know, I've gotten interested in other games, and I've been wanting to wanting to try to, you know, not even so much for YouTube, but just in my personal interests, like try other things, you know, reconnect with other games, try to like not be, you know, so wow focused. And I just like my personal life just doesn't have the time to continue to play this game that way anymore. And uh, as a result, I have to kind of shift my focus with uh, with my videos and everything else as well. So. I do apologize, you guys. Like, I, I hope that that's cool. I mean, if it's not, I understand. Um, thank you for have, thank you for supporting me for so long. I do. I'm not saying that wild content's going away. I'm just saying that it's not going to be as, as central to, uh, to what I do here as it has been in the past. So, uh, having said that, though, let's continue on with less meta talk, more what's happening here. This is without a doubt my favorite. You know, wow zone like one of my favorite zones i did a top 10 zones and this was definitely on the list i love the the lycanthrope kind of uh victorian london theme kind of like bloodborne if you ever played that the dark souls game it's it's kind of like that really um and i really like i really like i like the theme i like the i like the gilnaeans i like the story um that's one good thing about legion for sure i mean there are a lot of great things i like about legion but one of them is the worgans are finally getting a little bit of a of a push, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but just the story, just the zone, like, it's not even so much the story. The story's okay. Um, you know, it's it's werewolf-themed, whatever. That's cool. Um, a lot of Forsaken stuff goes on. Um, the only thing that I thought was kind of disappointing is that... I um, hope I didn't just gank that person because I wasn't trying to. I think I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you, Worgen friend, a Gilnean friend. I apologize. But what was I saying? Um... The story is okay. The only bad thing about the story here is that I w you'll see where we'll go after we finish this. It'll probably be a couple episodes. Um, and then, of course, you guys will vote on where we'll go next. Like always, that's part of the fun of this leveling series that I do. But um, the story progresses on into Night Elven territory. And you start going to do um, stuff with the Night Elves, the Dark, dark Shore, and stuff over there that really doesn't <laughs> concern Worgen lore at all. Um, all the Worgen stuff kind of takes place in the Forsaken Zone, which is Silver Pine Forest, and it kind of merges into that story, which I think is really weird. I mean, I think they were just kind of limited, and, and they couldn't figure out a way to make it work, so they did what they could, but it's really unfortunate when I did the Silver Pine, um, you know, bit for the, uh, for the kind of, um, for the lore episodes I was doing, I did Silver Pine, and I was really surprised at how much that was kind of focused on Worgen. I mean, kind of. There was definitely a lot of Forsaken stuff going on there as well, but there was a lot of Worgen stuff as well, uh, with Crowley and, uh, which uh, another super re Supernatural reference, by the way, which is kind of funny. I mean, it's not really a reference, but there's a character in Supernatural named Crowley, which is one of my favorite characters in that show. But anyways, um, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, like... It's just weird. I don't know. I, I don't know, like... Like, I don't really know what's going on with the Worgen and the und and the Undead. Like, you know, I obviously, I guess the Undead are winning the war. Um, and the Gilnaeans are having to backtrack a lot. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this expansion will kind of tell that story finally. Um, you know, dragging the Alliance and the Horde into it. It'd be kind of funny if this little... This little territory war kind of turns into the entire Alliance-Horde war all over again. Which... Could happen, but, you know, that really doesn't do any favors for the Worgen. Specifically, it kind of just drags the rest of the characters in. I don't know. It just, you know, it's one of those things that, like, it, it's good up until then. And then it kind of just gets, uh, for the Worgen, you know, leveling, it's it's kind of weird. But luckily, we don't have to worry about that because you guys will vote on where we go next. And that's part of the fun of leveling. I enjoy doing that. So we're going to at least get to the point where we get, uh, where we become a Worgen today. And we'll continue on after that. But this quest right here is my least favorite quest in this whole zone. Because it takes for freaking ever. These Worgen are attacking. We get it. We've killed, like, a ton now. They just keep showing up. We don't finish the quest. It goes on forever. I keep moon-firing the crap out of these Worgen. I just want to go home. I just want to move on with my life for crying out loud. I've done this a lot of times. I've done this many times. If you notice, though, one of the cool things is this time leveling, we have the chauffeurs, uh... The chauffeur mount, which is kind of cool, we'll be using that up until like level 20 or whatever. I forget how long it goes for 16, until we can use a mount, and uh, we'll go from there. Another cool thing is like money is not going to be a problem this time, 
So I'm not going to worry too much about professions. We're just going to enjoy the content, enjoy the experience, and go on with our lives. We're going to just hop over, or, or not. Or I guess I thought I could, but I guess not. I've got Worgen chasing me. Oh my god, get away. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything, Everything's fine, you guys. This guy is meddling. All right, fine. If you wanted, you wanted the fight, I was going to spare your stupid worthless life. But if you guys want to die, so be it. Take that. Take the Kamehameha sun attack. I don't know what you call it. Hadouken something. I don't care. But take it. It's done. Masenko Ha. That's what we'll call it. Bam. You die too. Just because I'm in a bad mood now. You guys won't leave me alone. I was going to leave you guys alone. I was going to give you treats. Dumb dogs. All right, let's get get let's get going here now. Um, so yeah, like it's basically what's going on right now is like it, it, this uh, story is like this part of the story is kind of weird because I'm not really sure how much time passes in this starting zone. Um, if you guys know, leave a comment, give me uh, give me some feedback on that. You probably are smarter than me. You probably read quest text better than I do. God knows I don't read freaking quest text. Um, and let me know because I'd like to know. I'd also like to know. Um, now that I've said my piece about, like, my WoW habits these days, which are pretty minor. Oh, by the way, this is where we get bit. Watch. Spoilers. See this guy? He's, he's playing possum. He's being a troll. He's luring us in. Bam! Right there, we got bit by that jerk. And then he's dead. So, yeah, take that. Kind of, kind of cheating the narrative there, considering he's just kind of, like, he never really transformed into a worgen. But, anywho, let's get our wolf out, or our dog out. Love it. Love it! Um... Did I, did he, is it, let's try again. There he is. I guess he was already out. But no, um, but, you know, let me know in the comments after, now that I've said my piece about WoW and my experience, you know, how interested are you guys still in, in this game? And, uh, you know, are you still playing? Are you still, you know, neck deep in raids? Are you enjoying the content? Are you playing as much as you used to? I'd be curious to know. I know that there are a lot of people that, I mean, there's really not much, there's really nothing too bad to be said about Legion. I think Legion's such a great expansion. It's probably the best expansion we've had in a long time. Um, but just, I don't know. It's just like, for me right now, it's a stage in my life where, um, I'll tell you like, I think, I'll tell you what I think part of it is. And this is something that, that a lot of people probably can't relate to necessarily. Um, and this isn't against anybody that, I, that if you're watching and you're a friend of mine that, that plays WoW with me, this is not against anybody at all. Um, I think what it really comes down to, back in the day when I really got into this game, because I got into this game late vanilla, and I played it through college, and I was having fun, and, and I remember uh, I did actually take breaks back then, uh, kind of like I do now. I would take a month or two months breaks every now and then, and I'd come back for a little while and enjoy the game again, um, and I really mostly played by myself. Um, but near the, near the, like, maybe early part of Wrath, I'd say around the time Ulduar came out, I joined a huge guild, which is known as Alea'i Akta Est. Many of you are probably part of it, and others of you may have heard of it. Hopefully you've heard good things, because it's such an awesome guild. Um, it's a huge guild, like probably one of the biggest guilds in... It's a mega guild. One of the biggest guilds in the game, in, in the game ever. Um, it was created as a fan guild, uh, part of the Scott Johnson... Uh, the Instance podcast fan base, uh, which is now kind of known as the Frog Pants crew, the Frog Pants uh, fans, like that's that's what they're basically what it's part of. And uh, so, anyways, I joined them, and I I instantly just fell right in, and I loved it, and I I just fit in really well. And they had a uh, they had a Ventrio server. And back then, it was kind of like now where you ran dungeons and you did raids, like, you know, just like you do now. It was a little bit different. But we didn't have LFG, and what, what our guild had was a, um, had a channel, like a, a, just a chat channel, and a mod that kind of went off of that channel that um, would allow you to kind of send out requests for group finding. So it was like a, it was a more rudimentary group finder, but specifically to people in our server and primarily focused at, on people in our guild. And so you would find, you know, tanks, healers, DPS all the time and go run dungeons together. You'd hop into, into Ventrio and have a time of it. It was fun. And I met a lot of people that way. And we had a lot of conversations and I made a lot of friends that people that I still consider to this day to be friends. Um, 
And I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't had that type of, you know, experience. But the problem is nowadays because we have LFG, we have LFR, and I'm not I'm no longer saying that those things are bad because like I said this is specific to me. There are a lot of people out there that those types of features help. Well, what the heck? I think I'm doing the wrong thing. Let me go back. Um, because a lot of people don't have access to a huge guild. They don't have access to a large pool of players, and instead they have access to just what they can find when they can find it, and that is really hard for people like them to progress in the game. So, you know, LFG and LFR as a whole are great for the game and for the entirety of the player base who, you know, people who don't have time to do, to do those things. Um, but as a byproduct for the you know for our guild and 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 for my my you know group of friends um people have found it easier to just hop into a pug and go on about their lives and not worry about you know waiting for friends to log in or even try to um tr you know even attempt to get get together and uh make you know friend groups happen which is really what i like to do because and I remember what really what really hit home for me one night. I was uh, and because it's like, it's even that way with mythics now. Even though you have to find groups with mythics, people will still just kind of find it easier to pug. And it really hit home with me one night uh, when I was like, I was talking with my friends, and I was like, you know, I, I need, I want to run some mythics. You guys want to run some? And and everybody was kind of like, oh, we, you know, we've all kind of ran ours. We we just kind of pugged it. You know, I was like, oh man, that's a bummer. I was like, I I don't really feel comfortable pugging because I don't read chat very well. It's hard for me to focus on the game and, and focus down here on the chat channel at the same time, which is nobody's responsibility. It's not, you know, it's like yeah, I said, I'm not really, this isn't really a bash on anybody, but the, the, the response I got with that was, oh, it's okay, most people don't talk in chat anyways. And they were trying to, like, ease me, like, don't worry, it's not a big deal, you're not going to have to, whoa, okay, Morgan City, um, you know, you're not going to have to worry about talking in chat, people tend to just be quiet and just rush through the, through the dungeon. Um, and I guess for people that are only interested in progressing in the game, that's fine. Like, no, no talk, no chats, no communication, no social aspect at all. Just rush through the dungeon, get what you need, and move on. Um, and that's fine. If that, if that, if that appeals to you, fine. But it doesn't appeal to me. That does not appeal to me at all. That sounds terrible. Because... I don't play this game primarily for gear upgrades and raid stats and DPS numbers. Um, there's more to gaming to, than, than that to me. I don't really care about prestige in this game. I don't care about, you know, being the top guild or being the top DPS or getting to the furthest point as quickly as possible and being the highest DPS. I like to play well, sure, but... None of that really means much to me if I don't enjoy the experience with friends in this game. Because, quite frankly, if I'm going to play the, play a game by myself and nobody else is... Like, I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm not going to really interact with anybody. If, I, if it's just me, which... Even though I'm in a dungeon with four other people, they might as well be bots if I'm, if I'm not communicating with them. I mean, who cares? But if, if that's what this game has become, this game sucks. Like, It sucks. This game is not good enough to be a single-player game, in my opinion. There are other great single-player games that I could go play that aren't World of Warcraft. And that's kind of what I think the problem is for me. Um, now, I realize like I'm doing this as single-player, but part of what's making this fun is this, this, this YouTube series. And I get to talk, and I get to share. I get to interact with you guys and, and, and hear your feedback afterwards in, in 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 comments and and know that people are enjoying watching me that kind of thing uh you know so that's kind of where i'm at with the game right now to be honest with you as we wrap things up i don't want to leave it on a completely negative note because like i said I'm not, I'm st i still like this game but that's what i feel right now to be completely honest with you guys and so i would love your feedback as well on that as we wrap things up now um I would love to hear what you guys think about the game, where you're at with it. Are you enjoying it? Has it been fun? I hope so, because I think it's a good expansion. I think this game rocks. Um, but, you know, I'm just at a place right now where I, I'm, I'm 
getting more out of other games, and I don't want to lose that, and I don't want to make this my sole, sole game anymore, but I still want to continue to enjoy it. I've got subscription lined up for months, so I'm not going anywhere, and I'm looking forward to doing this series. Uh, this is one of the most strangest cutscenes in the game, by the way. We've got Daddy Warbox here. I don't know who the Worgen in the cage is. I don't know if that's supposed to be us. I don't know if it's somebody else. But alas, there you have it, you guys. I'm looking forward to this season. I'm looking forward to leveling up a Worgen Druid. And I'm looking forward to your feedback, your votes, and your comments, and your support. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys will stick this out with me in Season 2. And in my Majora's Mask playthrough and in other playthrough ideas that I have that we're going to bring to this channel. So thank you guys so much for continuing to support me. Have a fantastic day. This is Kefis. Until next time.